Okay, pal. Hello? Ako nga pala, si Ma'am Lara. Gusto niyo bang matuto about multiplication of fractions? Mag-subscribe na sa YouTube channel ko at i-turn on ang notification bell. Tara na! Tayo na at matuto. Our topic is about multiplication of fractions. In multiplying fractions, we get the product of the numerators and the product of the denominators. So first, we're going to multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators, and last, write the product in lowest terms if possible. So our first example is 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. So multiply the numerators, 1 times 2, 2, then multiply the denominators, 2 times 3, 6, and then reduce it to lowest term. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 is equal to 1 over 3. So we have here 2 over 3 times 6 over 7. So first, multiply the numerators. 2 times 6 is 12. And then multiply the denominators. 3 times 7 is 21. And then reduce it to lowest term. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So the answer is 4 over 7. Next example is 27 over 28 times 4 over 9. So again, multiply the numerators. 27 times 4 is 108. And multiply the denominators. 28 times 9 is 252. And then, reduce it to lowest terms. So, pwede natin siya i-divide by 36. So, 108 divided by 36 is 3. And then, 252 divided by 36 is 7. So, this is the final answer. So, may mas madaling way para mas madali tayo mag-multiply ng fractions. So, tinatawag natin itong cross-canceling or cancellation method. So, i-apply natin siya dun sa pangalawang example. 27 over 28 times 4 over 9. So, siya ay cross-canceling. So, mag-iisip tayo ng common factor ni 9 at 27. So, ang common factor ng 9 at 27 ay 9. So, 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And then, common factor ni 4 at ni 28 ay 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Bago natin i-multiply yung numerators and denominators. So, 3 times 1 is 3. 7 times 1 is 7. So, nakuha na agad natin yung final answer. So, ang tinatawag natin tong cross cancelling or cancellation method. How about if the given is in whole number? So, ang gagawin lang natin, i-express lang natin siya as fraction over 1. So, 11 over 1 times 3 over 5. And then, proceed tayo sa steps. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 11 times 3 is 33. 1 times 5 is 5. So, this fraction is in improper fraction. So, kailangan natin siya i-change into mixed fraction. So, 
So, ito ay 6 and 3 over 5. So, kung hindi, kung hindi nyo kaya mag-mental, i-divide lang natin yung numerator sa denominator. So, 33 divided by 5. 33 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. 33 minus 30 is 3. Yung remainder na nasa iba ba, magiging numerator. Yung divisor na nandito, magiging denominator. How about if the given is in mixed number? So remember, in multiplying fractions, we get the product of the numerators and the denominators. So we're going to change this number, this mixed number, into improper fraction. So 9 times 2 is 18 plus 8. 26. Copy the denominator. And then, pwede natin i-apply dito yung cross-canceling or cancellation method. So, 12 and 26, common factor nila is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 26 divided by 2 is 13. How about 11 and 9? So, hindi natin sila pwedeng i-cancel or apply i-apply ang cross canceling kasi wala silang common factors. So 13 times 11 is equal to 143. Over 9 times 6 is equal to 54. So i-change natin tong improper fraction na to into mixed fraction. So mag-divide tayo 143 divided by 54. 143 divided by 54 is 2. 108. 143 minus 108 is 35. Yung 35 na remainder magiging numerator. Yung 54 na divisor magiging denominator. So, 143 over 54 is equal to 2 and 35 over 54. So, this is the final answer. Don't forget, if the given is in mixed number, change it into improper fraction. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell. Always remember, math is easy, math is fun. Sayonara!